Hi, Jennifer Marte here, reviewing this Key Studios Mini Smart Car. Hi, and just a disclaimer, um, this particular car I did receive free from Key Studio in exchange for my feedback on the car. Uh, these opinions are solely my own. They haven't been influenced by Key Studio in any way. Thank you. This is their KS4036F. And I want to tell you a little bit about it today. First off, how long did it take to build? Super easy to build, took about 20 minutes. The hardest part was reaching, take this off so you can see it, reaching these tiny nuts here that were holding in the universal wheel on the back. I found that challenging and dropped this loads and loads of times. But otherwise, the build was really quick and most things just clipped in. As you can see, I can take it apart and show it to you right now. So what does the car say it can do? First off, we've got our ultrasound sensors in the front that let you do object track and object avoid, and they worked really well. object track so your hand is relatively closer to the ultrasound sensors in this car than the other ones i suppose that makes sense because the car is smaller as well next we've got the led lights on the front two of them they can change different colors as you would expect again work really well We have two now, some of the other cars have three, two sets of infrared sensors right here to do line tracking. And actually in this kit, Key Studio even provided the line, which was brilliant because that took me forever before to come up with a line. Um, anyway, we've got these two infrared sensors for line tracking. I never got the line tracking to work and I have played with the sensitivity of these two infrared sensors quite a bit. This is the code for setting the sensitivity of the line tracking sensors and one change I made was this pause. Originally it was a thousand, um, but that meant it was only checking once every second. So I changed it to a hundred milliseconds and this is the pin. So you have to do it twice, once for 12 and once for 13 because there are two different sets of line tracking. Um, but what I will show you is if I go down here to show device, so we'll read out the numbers down here. It's saying one, it's always saying one, what you do is you change these potentiometers here back and forth using the little screwdriver until it says one when it sees black and zero when it says sees white. So I've put it on the black and I've adjusted it until it says one, which is what I expected. Um, but then if I move it to the white, it still says one. Now what I could do is set it here until it says zero if we go this way for that, so now you can see it says zero, which is what we expect when it's white. But I move it back to the black and it still says zero. And so far I haven't been able to find any combination where I get zero from white and black being one. It also has a new feature which is built into this micro bit where it can track a light. So as long as you're in a darkish space, it will move around following the light. And that's probably my favorite part of this car. It also has the other capabilities of that micro bit. So it can tell you the temperature, for example, it can tell you the direction you're facing. It can put icons on here, although a lot of the times it's kind of blocked by the ultrasound sensors, but it's there. Uh, so it can do all of those things, which is quite fun. It can be controlled by an infrared remote control, and it does that really well. Is that car? The instructions say it can be controlled from your phone. I have an Android. I could never get it to download. And in fact, when I went to Google Play to try to download it, it told me my phone was too new and that the app wouldn't work. So that was a bit frustrating. And the last thing, there's an app you can download to get it to work, to get the car to work. 
I could get it to download, I could get it to install, but it wouldn't do anything. It gave me an error with Chinese characters that I forwarded on to Key Studio to hopefully have a look at. So that didn't work either. However, this car being powered off of three AAA batteries, which I thought was excellent because I struggled to get those 1865. So what did I think of this car? Um, I have mixed reviews of this, probably erring on the negative side, to be honest. First off, this car is a lot smaller than the other ones. So in comparison, here's the microbit car that I reviewed last time. So this is a tiny car in comparison. And in fact, if you want to compare it to the Arduino based car, even smaller. Okay. Correspondingly, the motors on this are a lot slower. So the car moves a lot slower. Like I said, a lot of the features didn't work. The line tracking didn't work. The app to my phone didn't work. The app that you could download didn't work. So that was frustrating. Um, but one of my main concerns actually is that this kit comes without the micro bit, which I found a bit confusing because people who want to learn about micro bit probably don't already have a micro bit. So I'm afraid people might buy this kit without the micro bit, not having a micro bit, not be able to get it to work, in which case I would be pretty frustrated if I were the purchaser. Another thing to talk about are these wheels and they are trapping pet fur and human fur, human hair. Uh, and I've already had to take these off once. Now that said, I have long hair. We have a dog with long hair and I've got kids with short hair, to be honest. Um, but I do worry how long this will last and how long it will take until it's got so much fur and hair that it doesn't work anymore. So I think overall, um, I would suggest not buying this car and instead going and buying one of these. This moves a lot faster. All of the features work. You still learn about the micro bit. You still learn about the make code because the codes are exactly the same. It comes with the micro bit. Frustratingly, you will need to find a different kind of power source unless you have the 18650, in which case you're ready to go. Um, but I much preferred this car, the 4034, F to this one, the 4036 F. So I, I would suggest not getting this car actually and instead getting this one. But hopefully you found this review helpful. If you have any questions about the car, any of the cars I suppose, um, I've now got a YouTube video of all of them so feel free to put the comments or the questions down in the comments and I'll answer them as best I can. I don't work for Key Studio but I will answer based off my experience. So hopefully you found this useful. Thank you.